Gats and crew battle together. Yeah. Oh, Brand, let's fight Gatsby. Okay. Gatsby be comics? Okay. Gatsby be hindsight? Oh, Gatsby's been on a Gatsby's on a loser's run, Jesus. But let's not talk about Gatsby. Let's not talk about a Mighty Falcon. Alright. Let's talk about two all these Westchester Finest and one of uh, an honorary Westchester Finest. Pokemon and Quake. Alright, so Starts in Squirtle. Uh, yeah, I guess it's for, for, for racking up damage and like, quick removal. Because he is fighting a character like Melissa, who is very projectile. And Squirtle's a lot, but is noble and fast. The Squirtle is like Squirtle's mob mobility and is like his weird lingering hitbox yeah. will help him get, get an ability to start the damage off. Like, he doesn't want to play Ivysaur because Ivysaur gets out zoned. Like, like, despite like, you know, him having Razor Leaf and stuff like that. Pokemon Trainer is such a very like unique character in a sense. It's three characters into one, so it's technically three matchups in, in one character. Which is wild. Yeah. That's like at first no one thought about how like insane that was. And then and then they have to fight against one. And they're just like, wait, that's the thing about I do with this one. That's the thing about characters that have like different like forms of them. That's like what Tyra and Mithra, because like Tyra and Mithra, it's like kinda you know, you're dealing with two characters. It's the same thing with characters like, um... Well, well we can't say she can sell it because they're two different characters. Yeah, no. no uh, they, they've been that way for a couple years now. <laughs> uh, yeah. If they did, then that would make sense. But, uh, what's it called? Pokemon I'm having a struggle over here. Meanwhile, it's Quid having the big lead right here. Big well, lead. Yeah, that was all mainly for my squirrel just doing his job. And that shield poked. And that up in that up your hitbox. Yes, it was. It hit it hit above him because the shield is getting like tinier above him. Uh, big dab is coming out. Trying to catch the air dodge with that forward and not doing it. Oh boy, he could die. No sweet spot. See how like kind of the, the, the dynamic of the match has changed greatly? Yeah. <laughs> like, ooh. Look, even game until Quid just got started. I like Quint's movement on Ivysaur. I like it a lot. It's probably the best I've seen. Uh huh. Look at those tether cancels and all that. Okay, he's in Charizard now. Yeah, smart idea to get off. He doesn't want to deal with that three. Nice spot, that three. Oh, I try. Oh! That's that. <laughs> Did he try, like. <laughs> I guess he was trying to do down something else. So and then I he don't thought think he saw him put the uh, what's the one looking for? The, the Void Rocket down. He thought he was gonna jump above the stage to put the Void Rocket out, but he didn't. He did it right there to the ledge, threw him up for it. He down tilted. It. <laughs> only Ivy. It's only Pokemon PTSAs that use the down tilt Ivy. No one else does. And the way he uses it is so good too. It's a quick option. Sends people into a tumble stage and sends them away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of know where to go over there. Yeah. What is he? I, 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 like, the weird thing about this matchup is, like, so you got a rushdown character with Squirtle, and uh -huh. then you got Ivy, so who's like a sort of rushdown character. I wouldn't even say he's rushdown. He's like, I would say Mar Ar Ivy, so like Mario, where he's like an all-arounder. He can do like everything. He can zone. He can play defensive. He can, he can go in. Like, it's weird how Ivy so positioned. Like, yeah. And then you got Zard, who is the giant heavy hitter, the sweeper. Slow. Yeah, let's, let's say it like that. He is the sweeper. Because it's like, Zarya doesn't have, he only really excels in kill power and gigantic hitbox. Yeah, he doesn't have Rock Smash anymore. Sad. Yeah. That's right, everyone misses that. Rock Smash Tower plays what? Flare Blitz? Mm -hmm. uh, it was his down B. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he said, you know, you're playing Pokemon. Well, also Side B and Brawl, right? Uh, and Side B and Brawl was, uh, it was Rock Smash. It was a, oh, yeah, it was Rock Smash. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was changed. Weird. Weak. Pokemon looking really good. So on I kind of want to see if Quid will do the, I don't, the violence option Blitz. and just do Flare Blitz. I don't think Pokemon could give him the chance, or maybe Quid's not gonna get a chance to do it. Because unless they want to see the violence. Oh, ride the <laughs> ride the rocket. Let's go. 
Now Liam can bring this back. I believe. I believe wholeheartedly Liam can bring it back. Cause. I mean, he def he could. Lamp could bring this back. But we are, uh, we are playing the wonderful game called Smash, where anything can happen. You could die at like five percent right here. Oh, uh, not gonna be able to take that. Uh, substituting the rocket for him. Final. Okay, that down throw. Yeah. Slam. You know your character privilege when your combo throw turns into a kill throw. It was game one going over the quid. Quid money doing a good job. I don't know what that Pokemon Trainer skin is a reference to because I know every one of them is a reference to a main trainer game, but I'm not sure which one this one is. I think it's based off the one in Sun and Moon. Because That's what I'm thinking of. Cause the skin is tan, right? So like. Yeah, because I know. The first two are based off, you know, their actual trainer designs. Right one's based off May. One's based off uh, Diamond. Yeah, the other one's based on Hilper. I know one of them's based off. I think one was based off uh, Lucas. I could be wrong. Oh, Lucas the trainer for Diamond Pro. Yeah, Diamond. Oh, Pro. I called him Diamond. Uh, <laughs> one of them is from Dawn. One of them is definitely a reference to Dawn. I know one of them. Is a that is to the Dawn. green one. The yeah. green hat. No, the green one's a reference to May. Oh, yeah. The reference to Dawn. How many reference to Dawn? Uh, I don't think there is one. A reference to Dawn. The white one? I think it's a reference to Dawn. No, that's Hilda. Oh, that's Hilda? Oh. Yeah, black and white. Jesus Christ, how much damage <laughs> it takes sitting over there? Okay, the Lamb picking a smaller stage to combat Squirtle. So not giving him, not, oh, well, I don't say Squirtle, combat Quid. Not giving Quid a lot of room to like run and almost die. Okay, Liam picking the best villager skin. Let's go. With the fade, yes. Well, yeah, he doesn't have a fade. The fade, the fade, the drip, drip, jer, drip, <laughs> jer, <laughs> Let's go. Tyrone, as some people call. Yeah, him. after after this, he has to take mood, jer. <laughs> the, <laughs> Oh, dude. I, that up, that up here's hitbox is so ridiculous. Like you could be like almost nowhere near it and I'll hit you. He like, wasn't near it, and it, and he got hit by it. Yeah. Okay. Beating that, and then casting again with the nair, nair to grab. Oh, he tried vine whipping there, but he couldn't get it. Uh, uh I don't know if it was. I don't know if Village is invincible when he um when he pockets. No, no, he's invincible when he pockets, but when he throws an item out there. Uh, oh, he wall jumped and then nair, but that killed him all the way down there. Yep, Zard is strong. Zard is a bit too strong. I don't know if he needs it. He needs to have some kind of use. Oh, and there he's done. And he's done. I'm gonna run it right back into the, the same dig dug. The dig dug. I'm gonna say the call. Alright, quit not too Alright, quit just sitting there waiting. Like, he's just like waiting. Like, oh, I don't have to approach this. He can't, he, I mean, he doesn't really need to. It's an even game. They can wait on the clock a little bit. Like, Pokemon has to, like, approach him at some point. Does he did four forward airs in a row. Like, one thing I wanna point out about Lamb is his kit is uh, the way he's zoned. Yeah. yeah it's very, I wouldn't say methodical, but it's really good. Squirtle can wall cling. That doesn't make any sense. I, I keep forgetting. That's one of the things about Pokemon Chain that it's also like really good. The fact Squirtle can wall cling? Yes. He's always had it. But why? Uh. <laughs> That's one of the things that don't make sense about this game. Well, 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 well I think it's because he, you know, he's a turtle. A ninja turtle, turtle I guess. Uh, well, more of a turtle, but. I mean, I don't know if he, he, he was one of the end. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're not here to talk about Pokemon Chain. Mm -hmm. That game. Oh, threw the leap back. Every single time Quid goes for that. Lamb oh, hit him smash. with the Noku. Hit him with the Noku. <laughs> we'll try to bowling ball him on top of the oh, platform. I'm going very deep with his S guard. Ooh. Oh, that was... That sucks. He was a little bit closer. You would have got that. Almost got the trade. You know what I never understood about Villager? The thing, the one thing I don't understand, I never understood about Villager is like he has like what a frame? Is it at, what, what's the frame on that Nair? Isn't it like frame three? Or yeah, it's frame three. It's a frame three Nair on a character like this with no limbs. Yeah, very very short range though. Ah, uh, they're not going for the bears, yeah, but limbs. Honestly, having a tough time. I didn't. I think I, I'm pretty sure Liam stu Study has played this matchup a lot, but he, it's probably harder hard for Villager. It, really I, like it definitely does look hard for Villager, but you gotta say it's also quit. Yeah. And then beat like two PGR players in the day. Yes, he has. Yeah. Being multiple PGR players. 
kills the computer out himself. Oh! Way! <laughs> he did it! He chose violence! Just do it. Hey, Phantom. What's up? Just do it. Black